Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to start unit number 1 of mathematics class 10th and the title of the unit is quadratic equations. In class 9th we have discussed about uh, linear equations. Uh, here this is a uh, um, some modern and upgraded form of uh, equation which is named as quadratic equation. And what are quadratic equation we will discuss later. First we will uh, discuss what we will be able to learn after completing this unit. We will be able to define quadratic equations. We will be able to solve quadratic equation in one variable by factorization. And then by completing square method. And then by uh, we will derive quadratic formula by using completing square method and then we will use quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. So we will solve quadratic equation by three methods actually. Factorization, completing square method and quadratic formula. Then uh, we will solve these type of equations as well. These are not quadratic. Quadratic equations are of this form in which variable is having square and this is not square this is power 4 but it is reducible to quadratic so we will reduce it to quadratic form and then we will solve then we will solve some equations of this form and we will solve some equations of reciprocal form then some exponential equations will be solved by uh, using quadratic equation method then some equations of this type will be solved as well and then we will solve some radical equations of these three different forms so total number of uh, exercises in this uh, unit are four first exercise belongs to these three points exercise 1.1 and then these two points they belong to exercise 1.2 and uh, all these 1 2 3 4 and 5 these five different points are related to exercise number 1.3 and the radical equations are related to exercise number 1.4 so we will be able to solve these questions by completing these exercises so we'll start from the very first exercise before that we are going to define quadratic equations so what are quadratic equations? An equation which contains the square of the unknown variable but no higher power is called quadratic equation or an equation of second degree. And uh, second degree equation is standard form is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Here a should not be equal to 0 and a, b, c are real numbers. And this is called general or standard form of quadratic equations and examples are also given these are the two examples and one very important thing that if in a in quadratic equation if in this quadratic equation b is equal to 0 means this term is missing then quadratic equation will be written in this form ax square plus c is equal to 0 this is called pure form of quadratic equation so you need to know these two forms so we are uh, going to uh, find out these different forms in the questions so let us move to exercise exercise 1.1 question number one is 
राइट द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशंस इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एंड पॉइंट आउट प्योर क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्म व्हाट ही सेज ही सेज यू हैव टू राइट द गिवन इक्वेशंस इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एंड देन यू विल पॉइंट आउट व्हिच आर द प्योर फॉर्म्स ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू सिंपलीफाई द गिवन इक्वेशन टू see whether it is in standard form or quadratic form so let us solve the very first part of question number 1 which is x plus 7 into x minus 3 is equal to minus 7 so how we are going to solve it as we have discussed in uh, ninth class as well if in an equation brackets or uh, denominators are given we have to remove the brackets or denominator to simplify so here we will multiply these numbers to remove the brackets it will be x square minus 3x plus 7x minus 21 is equal to minus 7 so x square Plus 4x minus 21 plus 7 is equal to 0. So x square plus 4x minus 14 is equal to 0. So you can see this is standard form of quadratic equation. This is standard form. So in this way we can find out that the given forms are standard or pure. Let's do one more question. That is fifth part. X plus three over x plus four minus x minus five over x is equal to one. So here we will multiply. With to remove the denominator, we will multiply both sides by x into x plus four. X into x plus four multiply by x plus three over x plus four. Minus x into x plus four multiplied by x minus five over x is equal to x into x plus four multiplied by one. This will be cancelled. <coughs> x will be cancelled by x. Here we will multiply this x with the values. It will be x square plus three x minus these two will be multiplied. X square minus five x plus four x minus twenty, and here. these two will be multiplied x square plus 4x now it will be x square plus 3x minus we will simplify here x square minus x minus 20 and uh, further it is x square plus 4x now it can be written as x square plus 3x minus x square Plus x plus twenty is equal to x square plus four x. These two will be cancelled, and it will be four x plus twenty is equal to x square plus four x. Now, to do further simplification, it can be written on the other side. So I will write it as zero is equal to x square. Plus 4x minus 4x minus 20. So these two will be cancelled. X square minus 20 is equal to zero. This is standard form of quadratic equation. So in this way we can find out the standard and pure form of quadratic equations. You have to complete this question number one of this exercise by yourself. all six parts on your neat copies we'll discuss next question in the next lecture thank you allah hafiz